So let's add some styling to our application. Just some basic styling so we can see how CSS works in React. So right now I'm looking at my index.js file and we have our import statements at the top and we have our class app which extends component and that just returns this fragment of XML which actually is translated into HTML on the web browser. So what I'm going to do is add some style to this surrounding div. And what I want to do is center the content, make it a bit narrower, and maybe change the font, things like that. So what I'll do is refer to a CSS style that doesn't exist yet. And you might think you do it like this, class equals, and maybe call it app. And you would think that would work. However, you probably won't. And it's certainly not good practice. And it's not good practice because remember, even though this looks like HTML, it's really XML. And that word class is actually a reserved word in JavaScript. It's class that we use right up here on line five. So instead, in React, we use class name like this. And there are quite a few directives that actually have to be modified a little bit, particularly for attributes on HTML elements. So I have this class name app, but that doesn't exist anywhere. There's no CSS that defines it. So you might think that you could go to index.html and just put a style in here, an inline style, or load an external style, and that might work, but it's not the way it's typically done in, in uh, React. So back here instead, you'll notice that we have a file called index.js, and we have a file right next to it called index.css. Let's open that up. This is where we conventionally put the CSS associated with a given JS or JSX file in React. So I'm going to delete everything in here, because none of this is being used. And instead, the first thing I'll do is I'll import a Google font. I happen to have copied and pasted the font I want right from Google Fonts, the import statement, so I'll paste it in. And now I'll define my .app class. And what I'm going to put in here are some really simple things, just so we can see if it works or not. So I'll say max-width, and I'll make it 80% of the viewport. And I'll put in, say, a margin of zero auto to center everything. And finally, I'll change the font. Font, family, and I'll make it Roboto, the one I just imported a moment ago. And I'll save this. So, will that make any changes to our application? Let's go to our web browser and find out. So I switch over to my web browser, and reload this, and everything looks exactly the same. And there's a simple reason for that. Let me go back to my code. Although I've defined my CSS rules, I've not actually told my JavaScript file to use them. And we do that with a simple import statement. Import, and I'm going to import just dot slash, it's at the current directory level, and the name of the file is index.css. And I'll save that. Now when I go back to my web browser and reload it, look how it's all changed. So now I have some CSS rules that I can apply to the entire application page, in this case, because I'm applying it to the root level of my application, to index.js, but I can define CSS rules for pretty much anything. So, for example, let's go back to our editor here and create a new file in the source directory called appfooter.css. And this is the convention. You have an appfooter.js, and if you want to have CSS styling for it, you call the file that's associated with it the same thing, but end it with .css. So let's put some rules in here. I'll create one for .footer. I'll just put some basic rules in here. Text align, maybe make that center. And let's put in color, change it to dark gray. And of course you can use the standard CSS coloring uh, syntax here. And I'll make the font size a bit smaller, maybe 0.8 m's, just to make it 80% of the standard size. Then let's go to appfooter.js, and here on line 11 for this paragraph, I'll give that the class name. Remember, it's not class, it's class name, and I'll make it footer. And again, we're not finished, we still have to import that. Import dot slash appfooter dot CSS. And if I save that and switch back to my web browser, now I've applied some styling to that footer. Okay, so this is a good start, and it shows us how we can style various elements of our application. But what if you want to use a framework like Bootstrap or Foundation or one of the, the many popular CSS frameworks? Well, in the next lesson, we'll see how we can include, say, Bootstrap in our application.